I've always had an interest in science and technology. Uh, I was definitely a computer kid uh, back in the day when we were first starting to have them. As I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do before going to med school, um, got into a cancer lab, actually studying a pediatric cancer called neuroblastoma. And then when I started med school, um, kind of thought that that was my track, was actually pediatric oncology. But then I learned about radiation oncology, um, which is a really kind of cool specialty in that it synthesizes a lot of the components of uh, science and technology, but then also you gotta see all types of cancer. Um, young to old patients, curative, uh, as well as helping with management of symptoms. So I thought it was a really great kind of uh, synthesis of the different kinds of things that I liked in um, uh, my own interests, um, but then also in oncology as well. It's always really interesting to meet people and what their background is and what they come in, um, you know, knowing from their, their you know own life experiences about what they're going through. And so it's, I feel really important to learn about uh, the individual that's coming in. I never want an individual, a, a patient that's in front of me to feel as though they're just a number and someone else who's you know, getting a treatment that's following a specific path. Um, while certainly there are protocols and regimens that we follow in terms of how, how we guide our treatment and what we do for our patients, um, it's also individualized. And I think that's the most important thing to figure out with individuals is what their goals are and making sure that whatever uh, we're going to be doing for treatment and working together on is really in line with what they want to achieve. And my job is, is not just to get a patient through their radiation treatments um, and then pass them on to the next provider or, to, or send them back to whoever referred them to me. Um, I always like to continue to see my patients and engage with them and follow up, um, both for seeing obviously how they're doing, but then also making sure that we're managing any side effects that may come up later on down the road. And certainly as, as the doctor on the team, you know, I'm kind of helping guide the ship and making sure that patients are getting the treatment that they need. But each component of my team is really critical to making the whole, the whole ship, you know, whole ship function, the whole, whole thing work. Um, so they are all, you know, fantastic about, you know, working with patients, um, releasing them as individuals, um, you know, making them laugh when it's appropriate and understanding when they just need some silence to get through what they need. Um, but also being engaging and helpful and, and reaching out. Just the, the team and the collegiality um, across all, you know, across all lines, and not just within radiation, but over to the medical oncology and our surgeons um, and gynecological oncologists, like really everyone is really engaging. But then also the support services that we have. So things outside of just your cancer treatment, but helping manage, you know, symptoms, um, helping with nutritional support. Um, we also have patients that sometimes have transportation issues, so we've got great social work that's able to come in and help out with other needs that may not be directly related to the cancer care, but certainly are important for be able to get the cancer care that they need. So we've got a lot of those services that are kind of really all work together. One thing that really attracted me to Compass was the fact that it was so engaged within the community and located within the community. and. Not that it's just our, our kind of um, motto, but you know, ca cancer care close to home. Um, it's something that actually is, re is really true. And where we have some of our offices um, is really a way to be able to reach out to communities that otherwise wouldn't have access to really, you know, top line cancer care. And the fact that we are kind of a freestanding clinic and not part of a bigger kind of hospital system really allows us to you know, identify areas for improvement and implement those really quickly. We actually have a lot of research protocols that are open, so we're actually bringing in a lot of the you know new you know first line kind of things that are being developed, um, and it contributed a lot to a lot of the clinical trials that are um, that have now become standard of care, which is which is pretty awesome. From the radiation side of things, we do have some of the you know most up to date equipment. Um, also, in terms of planning and treatments that we offer, we're constantly you know looking at the literature um, and evaluating. Uh, you know, new approaches and new ways to do treatments. So I think it's it's really important uh, for us, and we and we do this to constantly look at how we are approaching patient care. What are the paradigms that we're currently following, and what is changing um, in, in the field? And so we're constantly doing that, looking at um, how we should change things, or when we're looking at how can we make something better, just internally. Um, is also looking out, outward and asking other places, um, or looking you know at, at you know current protocols or recent ones that are that are out there. Um, how we can modify or improve our process. I'm a generally very, and I am, a, a positive and, and happy person, and a lot of people when I was going into oncology said, are you really sure that you could do something that is so sad? I don't think of oncology or cancer as sad. I, I think of it as something that has happened in someone's life, and we have to find a way to, to, to deal with it, to, to get rid of it, to manage it, um, or deal with it when it comes back, and we can't cure it. And so I, I see it, you know, rather than being a really depressing thing um, to, to work in, actually something that's really fulfilling for, you know, someone um, who's involved in that 
treatment um, or the management of it because it's helping people kind of really understand and guide them through kind of what their course and journey looks like um, and being there to support them through it.